after missing Wednesday night's game with a non-COVID illness, flanked on the front line by Grant Williams and Derek Jones Jr. are back together again. They're the backcourt and the front line. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and Ivica Zubac. It relates to the NCAA tournament. Here's a jumper for Kyrie Irving, extended to a seventh game with one of those matchups. Here's Kawhi Leonard in the paint, and he scores. The paint point just took him down the paint, just really just shot a nice shot over the top, really not much resistance on that last play. Clippers doubled Luka, Mavericks moved the ball well. James Harden with the rebound, poked away from behind by Derek Jones Jr., and ultimately the loose ball is collected by the Mavs. They've got a transition opportunity with the Luka runner that's no good. Mavs lost at home for the first time this year on Wednesday night to Toronto. They're 3-1 at American Airlines Center as hard pace. It could be a scary thought. This is just their third game together since the trade. Here's Lively overshooting the rim on a net. And it's Leonard with a rebound. And Kawhi puts it down and scores with a foul. Foul is on Jones. And the three-point play is completed by Kawhi. He's averaging 21 points. Clippers coming into the season talking about wanting to take the regular season a little bit more serious against the Phoenix Suns Kyrie put Dallas on the board a moment ago we have a defensive three second call now on six percent for his career as a free throw shooter the ten time all-star as our opening two minutes of the game Westbrook downhill and foul we Westbrook is 5 of 10 on free throw attempts this year. He's at 9, but what he lacks in all-star appearances, he makes up in finals MVPs. Hawaii has got a lot of accolades despite the injuries that have short away. The Clippers have a chance for an early double-digit lead as Kawhi shoots and misses a bounce. So we'll be hearing from him frequently throughout the evening, I'm being told. Got a signal like we were going to see a very engaged Clippers squad tonight as Zubats rolls and there's another foul. Seven point game to the Nets on Wednesday night. This is a group that is not used to losing three games. They're well rested. Yes, they're well rested and uh, I think there's probably uh, probably not in a very good mood. No, I mean, you know, 0 3 so far. Zubats one of two on the line. Cut off the ball. Jones tip in. No, yes, finally. To do so. As the Clippers have a seven-point lead, Leonard looking for another hoop, and wow, what a different... Ooh. Yeah, nice move there by Luka. I was going to say, they're, they're, the way they're guarding Luka has been really Luka. You can split that trap yes, between yeah. the legs for a left-hand layup. You can just try to go right at him, or you can leak out in transition and have an easy deuce like that. Be able to use it tonight, and they will hope to rectify that in time for the November 28th. Be repainted. Yep, good point. Yeah, last week when the Mavericks were there, we did find out that the three-point line gets Harden down the lane, looking for Zubac through his hands and skying for the loose ball is Jones. So far by the Mavs. Making their way back into this game after they fell down by nine. Here is Jones inside, and it's eight. Now Kawhi, edge of the lane, leaves it short. Mavericks got hammered on the glass the other night in their loss to the Raptors. They've out-rebounded their opponents in four games, but the opponent has had the edge in the other four games. Good ball movement leads to a Hardaway corner three. Not every time down. Paul George, the leading scorer so far this year for the Clippers at 25 points per game. He just missed his second field goal attempt, but an offensive rebound. Maybe should have the ball. The shot clock at its expiration as Jones launches the Mavericks' first sub, Tim Hardaway Jr. And Hardaway's on the board. Not just a three-point shooter anymore. We've seen him put him up the... Coming off an 18-point, or he averages 18. He's coming off a 17-point game. Looks like his version of flopping, quite honestly. Uh oh, wow, Luca with a pass that caroms off the backboard. I don't think I've heard an effects mic pick up something quite like that before. Offensive rebound, three-pointer. Before three. Pass it right off the effects mic, apparently. Leonard for three, and the Clippers seesaw back power. Yep. Over Bones Highland. For the Clippers, Terrence Mann, who had been out until his season debut Wednesday against the Nets. As he used to get, because before you couldn't, you couldn't touch him. I mean, you lay a finger on him, it was, it was a foul. But now it's his, his, what's needed. O'Max rated to Dallas, 24. Up top for Powell, and he lost the ball out of bounds. As a junior, he averaged just over 12 points a game. Improved as a three-point shooter as Harden saw 
the screen by Dwight Powell. And we hear a whistle here on the line right now about Harden going to the free throw line so frequently earlier in his career. But get a bucket three point shot, but not really looking to draw fouls as much as he used to. Air ball here by Hardaway. Shot clock winding down. Powell passes out. And it's a shot clock violation for the man. When Luca had that one technical foul free throw. Here's Harden. Bones Highland. Zubac jostling for position down on the block with Dwight Powell. Pass out to Kawhi. Drive, kick, four to shoot. Harden rattles in a three-pointer. Saw that with the relocation for the three right there. Here's a drive by Kyrie. And to the left hand, doesn't get the bounce. Kept alive by Powell. 11 per game. But right now, he's looking for a shot. And on the step-back three, attempt.